Good afternoon viewers at home. This is Madmanin Dr. OJ. In this video, we shall discuss geometric sequence. Geometric sequence. Please don't forget to subscribe to my video channel by clicking the subscribe button below the video and the notification bell such that each time I upload a new video, you'll be daily notified. Thank you. Now, Geometric sequence is another sequence we are going to study uh, in our online uh, training courses. Now, earlier on we've discussed uh, linear sequence. From where we move to arithmetic uh, progression and arithmetic uh, series. In today's video, we shall look at exponential or geometric sequence exponential or geometric sequence the sequence the sequence the sequence a a r a r squared and so on see a r raised by a minus 1, where a is the first term, and any two, any two consecutive numbers. differs by a factor r the harris call common ratio is a geometric progression geometric uh, progression okay or Geometric progression or exponential sequence. Okay. Now let's consider the consider the sequence. Consider the sequence. Consider the sequence T1, T2, T3, and uh, T4. So we have a Tn minus 1 and Tn, which form a geometric progression. Okay. The ratio, the ratio R, as the common ratio, is equal to T2 all over T1 or T3 all over T2 or T4 all over T3 and so on and so forth. That's how to find the word, the ratio. Okay, let's look at an example. Let's look at an example. Let's look at an example. Right, example one. Example one. Write the five terms of the geometric series. I mean, geometric uh, sequence. Geometric sequence. Whose first term? Whose first term? is 6 with a common ratio the common ratio of uh, 3 the common ratio of 3 so how do we solve this now we have to write the 5 times of the geometric sequence whose first term is 6 that is A is 6 that is T1 our T1 
the first term here is 6. Don't forget, the T1 means the first term, the second term, the third term, the fourth term, and the eighth term. So, you know, A is designated as a first term, which invariably here, T1 is representing now uh, A. Therefore, A is equal to 6, and uh, T1 is equal to 6. Okay, so we are told that the common ratio is 3. So, if R is 3, and we know that since... R is equal to T2 all over T1. Okay? So that means 3 is equal to T2 all over T1 is 6. So in this case, in this case, it is easy to get our T2. Okay? It is easy to get our T2. How? So you just cross multiply. So cross multiply, cross multiply. So by the time you cross multiply, we have T2 equals to what? 3 times 6, which is 18. So, remember we have to find the first 5 times. We have gotten the first, the second term. Now the third term, T3 is equal to what? We don't know. So, we, since we know that, since R is the same as what? 3, 3 over what? Over T2? Okay, so the R is what? And R is 3. T3 will be what? 3, 3 over what? T2 is now 18. So that will be what? T3 equals what? 3 times 18. So T3 will be what? 54. So now, if you look at this closely, you will observe that to get the next or the successive uh, term, you can just multiply the preceding one by the common uh, ratio. To get the succeeding term, just multiply. You will observe that. When the T2 was uh, 18, the T3 is 54. So that means multiplying the T2 by 3 will get the next the next uh, the next term, which is uh, T3. So therefore, T4 now will be what? Just multiply 54 by the common ratio, which is what? 3. So that will be what? Uh, 12, 15, 162. So T5 will be what now? 162 times uh, 3. That is what? 648. Okay? Therefore, T1, T2, T3, T4, T5 is now what? Is now the first time is what? Uh, 6, 18, 54, 162, I think, yes, and uh, 486. So it's as simple as that. Okay? It's as simple as that. Let's look at another example. Let's look at another example. I hope you understand. Okay. Example 2. Example 2. Seven question says, uh, example says, find the tenth term of a geometric sequence. Of a geometric sequence. If, uh, okay, the first term is what? A is equal to 4 and R is equal to half. In fact, this is very, 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 very what? Very, very straightforward. Okay? Very, very straightforward. Now, looking at this, you don't have any problem. The 10th term, Tn, T10, will be equal to A, R is for N minus 1. You ask me how I got this. From Tn is equal to A R raised by N minus 1, which we obtain why I first listed out the, the terms of a sequence, a, a geometric sequence. So T10 will be what? A R raised by N minus 1, which is what? A R, our N here is 10 minus 1, which is what? A R raised by 9. Okay? Now T10 will be what? Our A is 4 multiplied by our R is half raised to power 9. Okay, so uh, we can now multiply, uh, you know, 4 by the ninth uh, multiple of R. So that's T10 will be equal to 4 multiplied by 1 over 2 raised to power 9. Okay, and that is going to be what? Um, how do we do this? But we can do it in a way that um, it will not give us problem at all. So we can have 4 times 2 raised to power minus 9 
This one, this one will be two times two raised power two times two raised power minus nine. I hope you understand. And that will give us what two raised power minus what two minus uh, nine. That's minus seven. Which is what one all over two raised power seven, and this is one all over one over twenty-eight. What I just did here is I express one over two raised power nine in form of indices. You know, I first have it as two one over two raised power nine. Then this will be written as two raised power minus nine. My 4 can be simplified as 2 raised to the power 2 times this. So this will give me this. Instead of uh, bothering myself to look for the multiples of uh, uh, 2 raised to the power 9. I think with this, you should be able to understand uh, what uh, we meant by geometrical sequence. Please don't forget, click the subscribe button below uh, the video and help me share the video to your colleagues. Thank you very much.